Round one, missing champion. Who is missing from this sequence of intercontinental champions? Mark Merrow, Rocky Maivia, Owen Hart. Who is missing? I think it was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Um, it was like his reward for being punished after the Madison Square Garden incident. Yes, it was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. He defeated Mark Merrow before losing it to Rocky Maivia. Round two, bell to bell, and it's two of the Rock's matches. First one is Rock versus Austin, WrestleMania 17, and Rock versus Cena, WrestleMania 28. Which one lasted the longest? Okay, bell to bell. Um, I want to say WrestleMania 17, but I'm not sure which um, Rock and Cena match you mean. So, but, so I'm, I'm going to say Rock and Cena. There is less than a two minutes difference. Rock and Austin at Mania 17 was 28 minutes, 8 seconds. Rock and Cena 1 at Mania 28 was 30 minutes, 35 seconds. Round 3, 5 general questions. Question 1. Rikishi is a former member of which tag team between 1992 and 1994? Oh shit, I know this. Um... Uh... Head something, not the headbangers. Um, head, head shrinkers, something like that. That exactly correct. Question two: Who did Solo Sokoa defeat for the NXT North American title? Oh damn it! Uh, <laughs> I don't know the North American title very well, so I'm I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass. It's Carmelo Hayes. Question three, how many times has Ric Flair held the official NWA World Heavyweight Championship? Uh, I think ten is a bit of a stretch, so I'll take a stab at nine. Good stabbing, nine is correct. Question four, who did Ken Shamrock defeat in the 1998 tournament to win his only Intercontinental Championship? I don't know, uh, I briefly remember him feuding with The Rock. Probably going to be wrong, but I will say The Rock. He did feud with The Rock, but as the defending champion, he won it from X-Pac in the tournament final. Final question, who is the longest reigning United States champion of the WCW era? I'm trying to think, United, WCW United States champions. Um, geez. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Lex Luger. Total shot in the dark, and no idea why he popped into my head. It was the ravishing one, Rick Rude. So, final total score of four. All right, Teddy P, let's get into it with round one missing sequence. Who is missing from this sequence of intercontinental champions? Mark Marrow, Rocky Maivia, Owen Hart. I don't... I don't know... I really want to say Ken Shamrock, honestly, but that's just a shot and a half. Yeah, you're wrong on that one, sir. Um, it was actually Triple H, and the sequence in the proper way is Mark Marrow, Triple H, Rocky Maivia, and then Owen Hart. All right, now on to round Two, which is my personal favorite round, Bell to Bell. You gotta let me know which match went longest. Was it Rock versus Austin at WrestleMania 17? Or was it Rock versus Cena at WrestleMania 28? Rock versus Austin. That was a long match. In my opinion. I mean, because I vaguely remember the Cena match being like super duper long. But I I feel like Rock and Austin was way longer than that. Rock and Austin was very long. They went 28 minutes and 8 seconds. But Rock and Cena was super duper long and went 30 minutes, 35 seconds. 
All right, so now on to round three, which is five questions of general knowledge. Question one is, Rikishi is a former member of which tag team between 1992 and 1994? Head Shrinkers. Correct. It was the Head Shrinkers. Who did Solo Sequoia defeat? For the NXT North American Championship. Carmelo Hayes. Correct. How many times has Ric Flair held the official NWA World Heavyweight Championship? He's the 16 time or 17 time champion. I believe he's 16 time champion. Cena's tied with him. But NWA, um, eight? Ooh, so close. It was nine. Next question. Who did Ken Shamrock defeat in a 1998 tournament to win his only Intercontinental Championship? I'm between The Rock and Sean Waltman. X-Pac, Sean Waltman. Fate was with you on that one, sir. You are correct. It was X-Pac. Last question. Who is the longest reigning United States champion of the WCW era? I don't know. Something's in my head is screaming Terry Bouchelier. Hulk Hogan. That's screaming Hulk Hogan. And I don't know why I'm thinking of Disco Inferno or something like that, but I don't know, man. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. That's my answer. Win, lose, or draw. Whatever. All right. Unfortunately, you were incorrect. The answer was Rick Rude. That gives you a total of three points. And unfortunately... Fortunately, the Phoenix scored four. So, therefore, we have a new knowledge champion, Craig Phoenix. And gold has came back to the Dragon Club. But don't forget, Teddy, that the night is not over for you yet. You can still walk out of Promo Mania champion when you go later on tonight and face Cypher. For the world championship. Say la vie. It was time for me to let the bird free. I have bigger things to accomplish. I need to get in contact with somebody before my match. It's understood. Doesn't need to be. You know the rest.